Welcome back. Well, a local artist has released his debut album, sifting through hundreds of songs to find the ones that were a perfect fit. That's right. Today we welcome Connor Daly. We mentioned that he's a local, but he's a recent local. Congratulations on the move and congratulations on this new album. Yeah, thank you very much. It <laughs> feels great to be in Nashville and uh, it's even better that I just released my first album too. Yes, congratulations. Thank you, yes. thank you. And you came from Virginia? Yeah, I moved from Northern Virginia, so right outside of the D.C. area. Um, and I always say the one thing that uh, got me prepared for Nashville was the traffic around D.C. <laughs> the Beltway and 95 going through there, it's a, it's a rough area. So I'm used to the traffic, but yeah. Well, tell us all about this new album you yes, have. Please. Yeah, so it's my debut album. It's called Colors Fade. Um, it is uh, 12 songs on there. And um, I've written probably close to over 200 songs, so it was definitely a challenge trying to uh, see kind of what songs fit the best together mm -hmm. um, in that group of 12. But I think it's definitely a collection of songs that I'm proud of. Um, I'm excited for, for people to listen to them out there. What's your favorite one on the album, would you say? Oh, man. Well, like I said, I've written over 200. Yeah. So, you know, narrowing them all down. They all earned a spot on the album for sure. So I, I do enjoy them all. But um, I think Ain't Got a Cape is definitely one of the most um, important songs, I guess, on there. And it's mm -hmm. definitely the most different. Um, so it's a little bit darker than the other songs. And it's about a very prevalent issue in today's society. Um, which is mental health challenges. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people struggle with that. Mm -hmm. So it's about a guy who has a loved one who struggles with mental health and he tries to do anything he can to help that person out. Um, but at the end of the day, he, he can't do everything, you know. You can't save the person, you can't save the day. So he ain't got a cape. So he it's a little sad, a but it's one of my favorites. We have to hear that one. Yes, we do. Let's take a listen to Ain't Got a Cape. This was actually shot in my hometown of Ashland City. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, it was Ashland City. I love it. What made so, you choose Ashland City? Uh, so the producer William Golly, Golly, I always mess up that name, but he lives in Ashland City. So uh, he was able to get in touch with the Ashland City police and fire departments to um, get them in the video, which is really cool. So they gave up their time. So thanks to them for doing that. And uh, the backgrounds and scenery of Ashland City is is unbeatable. Gorgeous. Out there, so. It really is so gorgeous. It really is. Okay, so. Uh, does that, is that song about anyone in particular? It is not, um, which makes it a little bit less sad, but um, it's just kind of like a general idea of mm -hmm. things that we see on TV shows or movies or just in real life um, from, from a lot of people out there. So I just kind of figured now would be a good time to write it. And um, I think it turned out what I was hoping for. So. It sounds great. I really do love it. We Thank need to know much. a little bit more about your backstory. You played sports most of your life, right? What made you kind of take the switch to chase your dreams here in Music City? Yeah, well, sports you can only do for so long, I guess, unless you're, you're really good at it. But I did track and field in, in college. I was a discus thrower. Um, and then throughout that time, I wrote my first song in 2019, so my freshman year of college. And then since then, I, throughout college, I wrote over 200 songs, like I've said. Um, so once I was done with uh, track and field and sports, um, I was working really hard in the background on music and everything like that. So it definitely felt like a good time to kind of switch into to music and um, do something that I love for, you know, the rest of my life. I tell you what, 200 songs, whoo, that's a lot. Yeah. How, what is your songwriting process like? Yeah, so I'm sure Everybody's a little bit different, but I start on like the, the guitar because I feel like that's just the baseline of, of songs and music. So I get a guitar progression, then put a melody on top, and then just don't really think too much about the words and just let the melody kind of speak for itself, I guess, and just see what comes out. So. Very good. Very right. good. What a powerful song. Thank yes. you so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you very much for having me on. Yes. Welcome to fun. Nashville, everyone. If you see him out playing live, make sure you say hi. His music can be found online at ConnorDailyMusic.com. Thanks again.